Everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli. Thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and those who order their Tesla using my referral code. And I am going to go over the uh, main component of this amazing Tesla potential trajectory during the next five years by ARK Invest. Just full disclosure, I do own Tesla stock and I do own uh, ARK Invest mutual fund. Uh, the, the report is, is comprehensive and it's really, really interesting. I'm going to put a link right at the beginning of the description under this video and you can read the whole thing. And I highly recommend that you do if you like Tesla and if you, especially if you are investing, they have charts and explanation of a, of a bull case scenario and uh, expected case scenario and a bear case scenario. So the expected uh, value is a seven thousand dollar stock in 2024. Uh, the projection is based on Tesla stock's price in 2024, based on the on our probability metrics. Now the bear case scenario is a fifteen hundred dollar stock. Uh, just for you to know, now today's stock is eight hundred dollars. We believe that there is a twenty five percent probability that Tesla is worth fifteen hundred uh, per share in or less in twenty twenty four, and there is a bull case of fifteen thousand dollars. We believe that Tesla is a twenty five percent probability that Tesla could be worth fifteen thousand dollars by twenty twenty four. And they show charts and explanation and likelihoods of what will Tesla uh, uh, stock will be. They talk about gross margins, uh, capital efficiency, and autonomous uh, capability. Now, autonomous capability is very interesting. So uh, here's a chart about gross margin, capital efficiency, and autonomous. Let me tell you about autonomous because that's what I'm very interested in. So here's the high-end probability, fully autonomous driving uh, uh, in 2021, uh, launches, launches in 2021, and Tesla charges $2.50 per mile and uh, falling to a dollar per mile while taking 50% platform fee. In other words, uh, just for using their app. And they think that this happens in, in 2021, two years from now, is about has a likelihood of 30%. In, uh, uh, in a low end, Tesla fails to create a fully autonomous car and arc likely, likelihood uh, of that is 70%. So there's a 70% chance that uh, Tesla will not be able uh, to uh, launch full uh, autonomy. Uh, it's, it is, uh, they're talking about the, the valuation. Now, I want to show you this graph of the golden goose versus the black swan. Let me start, start with the black swan that Tesla, for whatever reason, goes bankrupt and there's a 1% chance uh, probability that will happen and stock goes down to $0. Now, the golden goose one is Tesla stock goes to $22,000. Whoa! And uh, uh, the probability is 12%. Uh, Tesla lowers cost, build factories efficient, efficiently, and then launches autonomous networks. So now let me ex explain that. So let's see what we have so far. We have a Giga 1 in Nevada. We have a Giga uh, uh, 2 in, um, in uh, New York State for the solar stuff. We have a Giga 3 in China, just it's now back online. And we have Giga 4 in Berlin, which is now going to be uh, a building. It's going to be built. It's or, they're already clearing a space there. And uh, there's a talk about Giga 5 in Texas for the Cybertruck. So Tesla is completely and totally on the trajectory of continue to building factories and Giga factories to uh, uh, make batteries. And now the autonomous network, Look, the technology is there. Uh, regulators will, will agree to that if it shows that it's safer than regular driving. The question is, can they overcome the last 5%, which makes it so difficult? So the autonomy, uh, Tesla uh, launches its autonomous network and builds factors uh, efficiently, uh, but can't lower the cost. That is the autonomous uh, builder. That's a 3% probability and and cumulative probability of 88% and the stock goes to $20,500. And on and on you see this chart and how they explain line by line what can happen in, in uh, those cases. That is very, very interesting. Uh, car solds, that's interesting. Car solds, 
uh, Tesla uh, uh, Archivist says that based on the probability of metrics, our bear case implies that Tesla will sell 3.2 million vehicles in 2024, cutting its share in total EV sales roughly in half compared to today's level. Our bull case implies that Tesla will maintain roughly 18% of market share. By the way, it's 17% now in the world, 60 plus percent in the United States, by the way, and substantial percentage of the fleet will generate a high margin of robot taxi platform fees. So now you see that that ARK Invest trajectory is, is all it's really about a lot about not really but a lot about the robot taxi. So they have a, a, a car sold in millions, 2.3 as the bear case in 2024 and 7.1 million uh, at the bull case average pricing sales by $52,000 in the bear case, meaning not selling only high ends, or $36,000 in the bull case, meaning there is a lot of um, a scale and, and models that are uh, that uh, that a lot of people buy that are the che cheaper model. Uh, electric vehicle revenue in billions, in the bear case, $166 billion, and in the bull case, $256. Uh, billion dollars now robo taxi the bear case zero dollars in revenue no robo taxi or in the bull case 351 billion dollars <clears throat> sorry billion dollars in revenue now this chart is very interesting they talk about the the rights law that uh, <clears throat> forecast cost decline uh, successfully in more than 60 technologies uh, running from solar power to televisions. Remember the first flat screen TV that looked like a house and they cost like $20,000 and how significantly the cost uh, uh, dec uh, declines. Same thing with solar power and all that. So here they show the Tesla Model 3 cost decline by uh, Q, uh, by, uh, and they show by millions of cars producing Q4 2024 to $10 million and how the cost of producing them uh, in in the law in the in the rights law, which which basically mean the uh, scale economy of scale will reduce the cost of making these cars and uh, uh, and selling many of them in a higher margin. All right, so that that's that. Let me show you just one more, one more. The addressable market by vehicle type: twenty percent market share is in the black, and and the others is the other manufacturers. Uh, and it, it looks like that in the S, they, they're talking about the SUVs, they're talking about the SUVs, the sedans, the luxury SUVs, the luxury sedan, like the Model 3, the Model Y, and the Cybertruck. And what will be Tesla's share in those uh, categories uh, moving forward? So, uh, again, I want to tell you what I told you at the beginning. I highly recommend you read the whole thing. It's so freaking interesting. Uh, you will you will learn a lot and you, you better basically make better decision looking at now what do I think I don't know I don't like to give suggestions because I'm not an economist I don't like to give suggestions I can tell you that I'm an investor in Tesla and I can tell you that uh, Catherine Woods which was ridiculed when she said these things a year ago now every word that she said is coming to life watch this very short interview that she really that she did really recently and you'll see what I mean thank you guys for watching I'll see you tomorrow. Easy. Well, we just published a report with our, again, long-term forecast. And um, uh, the numbers have gone up dramatically. Uh, today, the stock is roughly $640, up from $580 uh, yesterday. <laughs> um, and yet, and yet, uh, we think it's incredibly undervalued. Uh, and the reason for that, there, there, there are two assumptions that have changed with the, the, in the last couple of reports. One, our, our bull case for Tesla in our old model was that it would lose a third of its market share. It, has, it had in 2018, 17 percent global market share, including China, uh, that it would lose as the Tesla killers came into the market, Audi yeah. uh, and uh, Porsche Taycan and, and Jaguar. Well, guess what? Its share increased last year to 18 percent. So do you think Tesla can have 17 or 18 percent of the worldwide market when it's all electric vehicles? Is that what you're saying? And if we're right, if we are right, this stock has only begun.